All right, Stephen, thank you. As you had showed earlier how this Doppler radar can look inside the storms and see the velocity and see how these storms or the air is moving. And we saw some rotation this morning and gave us a lot of concern to kind of raise the red flag and to cut into programming. Now, the rest of the day, we are doing much better. But with that said, can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm. It's just not the magnitude of the coverage of what came through this morning. It's clouds and a bit of hazy sun uh, looking at Providence. Now in New Bedford, especially out towards Buzzards Bay, you still have some rain and even some rumbles of thunder, but fortunately it's not severe and that'll be uh, pulling away very shortly. I'll show you the radar in just a second. Temperatures now that are in the uh, lower 70s, including 73 in Providence. Sunshine trying to come out a little bit this afternoon should boost the temperatures up close to 80. We are tracking a cold front that'll come through this afternoon. So an isolated shower or a passing thunderstorm uh, can't be ruled out this afternoon, kind of few and far between, but even a general thunderstorm is obviously somewhat high impact. So you want to be mindful of that, just not as severe as what came through uh, this morning and the skies are actually clearing your Friday evening plans. I would go ahead. Dry skies. Eventually the humidity will be dropping off and it sets up for a nice weekend. We, we've been talking about this now all week. Uh, decent on Saturday, partly sunny and then mostly sunny skies on Sunday. So narrow line of, of showers and thunderstorms from roughly it looks like the Elizabeth Islands and heading towards uh, Cape Cod right now. High impact, but fortunately not severe, and that is tracking off to the east. So really two fronts. The first one coming through uh, near Cape Cod responsible for some of the severe weather this morning. You see there's a lull where the sun's coming out. Second cold front through upstate New York will swing through this afternoon. That may spark a passing shower thunderstorm. This front is our friend because it's going to scour out the clouds and the humidity behind this front. The air dries out nicely, so less humid and comfortable both Saturday and Sunday. So let's start with this evening at seven o'clock. We're doing fine. Your Friday night plans are looking pretty good. Clear skies, lowering humidity overnight tonight. Take you into a Saturday morning, 8 a.m. Sunshine, mid 60s. Now notice the second half of the day, what appears to be like a solid overcast of gray skies. It's really a cloud sun mix. So the plan is mostly sunny morning, partly sunny, but still nice, decent during the afternoon and early evening, clear, dry, comfortable for Saturday night and just beautiful and milder on Sunday. So looking good for this evening with clearing skies and lowering humidity. Tomorrow morning it will feature mostly sunny weather, nice temperatures starting off in the 60s early, 73 by 11 a.m. It's more of a cloud sun mixture during the afternoon tomorrow, but still nice, breezy, dry and comfortable. All right, beaches for the rest of the day, partly sunny skies, a stray shower or thunderstorm can't be ruled out with temperatures in uh, the upper 70s. All right, there's your seven day forecast and it shows a better weather tonight and the weekend is looking pretty good. Partly sunny skies on Saturday, mostly sunny skies coming up on Sunday on the pinpoint 12 weather app on your mobile device or the phone. No matter where you are in a situation like this, you will hear a tone. You may not be watching the morning newscast, but you're going to get it on your phone, giving you instructions as to where the storm is in your neighborhood and what to do. A free app. Very, very valuable in a situation like this. And things happen so fast. Oh, they're quick. They're high storm. impact, but they're quick. Quick, very quick. Yep. All right. Thank you, Tony.